What's up? This is Dead to Rights again for the Mega Reviewing Channel. Um, it is the 8th of the 12th, so literally the day after. Uh, it's a Thursday, and it is 5.43 at night. Well, yeah, well, it wouldn't be in the morning, would it? Jeez. Anyway, um, today we're going to be doing the A to Z again, but this time it is actually D to E. Only 10 CDs this time, which is actually quite a bonus, considering the 12 last time for B to C was just horrendous. But anyway, let's get on with it. Right, first of all, you've got the band Drowning Pool. Uh, they did two CDs. Well, two CDs that I've got anyway. Drowning Pool Sinner, <laughs> Sinner and Desensitised. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, these band, this band actually was quite good when I got them. Was quite good. I don't know what they're like nowadays. Um, but the whole point is, with the Sinner CD, it's literally got um, the song which is quite memorable to everyone, which is called um, Bodies, which is the song that's like in the film um, called The One with Jet Li, which is pretty cool. Uh, on the uh, desensitized one, uh, basically it's like a reform of the band in a way, because of the fact that they'd lost one of their band members and they basically decided to add another one, and they went, well, you know, might as well just bring it on the CD and actually inside on the CD cover they've literally put um, in lowering memory of our brother so pretty cool the way they've done that like you know, oh well he's passed and you know we memory we you know keep the band going keep, you know, in memory of him pretty awesome of them I like it uh, next CD um really quite a classic CD and you'll understand why in a minute uh, the whole point is this band, I literally heard, um, I think it's a few of their tracks, I'm pretty sure I heard of, anyway, and I just went, yeah, I'll just see what they're like. And the whole point was they were having, like, this, it was like a best of mo like month, and it's it like they go, in Tesco, and all this crap, <coughs> the very best of the doors. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, it's got um, quite a few, like, classic songs on it. Like, um, basically, uh, This Is The End, you know that song, from um, Apocalypse Now. You've got quite a few others. I mean, it's just, yeah, ridiculous, really. But there, there's some quite catchy tunes on there as well. Considering they're like an old and past band, it's quite an awesome band. I like it. <coughs> anyway, next. <coughs> uh, this one, I'm pretty sure I heard from possibly another CD or something like that. Uh, this one's basically uh, Death Tones, it's called Around the Fur. Um, it's pretty good, I like it. Um, I can't remember if this was the CD I was looking for at first, or if this was this had any of the songs on that I wanted. I can't remember if it was, or wasn't even. Um, but anyway, I like it. Um, they, they seem to like a little bit of an angry band, a bit like um, Lip Biscuit, but they seemed more um, heavy metal than Limp Bizkit seemed more like uh, pop rock. Uh, next, this band, um, I was literally influenced to buy it um, from a past friend, not literally a past over, but like literally because they used to be my friend. Uh, it's a shame that um, our friendship didn't last as long as how long I've got this CD for. But yeah, anyway, uh, Death from Above, You're a Woman on a Machine. Um, literally, like the whole point was, I was chatting to this friend of mine on MSN, and uh, she basically, yeah, that's right, the woman. Uh, she basically said, "Well, try I listen to this music?" She sent me a track of theirs, and I was just like, "That's pretty catchy. I like it. Not too bad." She goes, "Yeah, you should get the CD," and I was like, "All right, calm down." Anyway, so I got the CD, and yeah, it's pretty kick ass. I like it. Um, I must say though, they, it's because of the fact that they've literally got two band members. A bit like the White Stripes, but um, the whole point is they don't actually have any main guitar. It's mainly like bass and drums. Which is a bit strange, but awesome at the same time. Anyway, uh, next one. Oh my goodness, shoot me. Right, I uh, saw an advertisement for Red Nose Day once before. Um, or Comic Relief, as they used to call it. And the whole point was, on that advert, which is like voiced over by Jonathan Ross, I heard this tune. And I was just like, that tune has got my bloody spine, the hairs on it, just going upwards. 
and I was just like really liked it from then on. And I was just like, I've got to find that tune. Anyway, so I go through all these different bands trying to find like the actual sound of the band, and I was just like, jeez, I can't even find it. Anyway, so I was talking to my mate Phil on Yahoo Messenger. I'm pretty sure it was. I go, have you ever heard of this tune? Like it's kind of like electric, kind of like guitar, and not. He goes, yeah, that's by Daft Punk. And I was like, you what? And he goes, yeah, it's by Daft Punk. I was like, oh, jeez. It's a bit like the whole um, Nero kind of case. I was just like, you know, wondering who the band was, and I had no idea, and nobody really knew their names until, like, someone told me. But yeah, I like this CD. It's just, yeah. I mean, okay, some of them are just, like, you know, tunes, and they're just not really great. But the whole point is, if you see the movie that Daft Punk made to go along with the music then it makes a lot more sense than yeah just listening to it it makes a lot of sense it's a bit like listening to the Tron soundtrack and not actually knowing what it goes with I guess next this band I heard were well basically there's a there's a Mastodon CD out called um, Call of the Mastodon like quite an odd one I'm pretty sure it's like their first one that they did and um, they had a Relapse Records um, bonus CD in the back of it. I was just like, oh, cool, free music. Anyway, this band was on that CD, and I was just like, they're pretty good. They didn't have any singing in it, but it was pretty kick-ass. I liked it. <laughs> it's literally made of cardboard. And they're called Dysrhythmia, or Dysrhythmia, and I still can't find the friggin' tune I was looking for, which is really annoying, because it's not, they didn't actually have it in HMV, and I was just like, you disappoint me. Why do you not have the CD I want? You're very disappointing, HMV. Get out of my sight. <laughs> anyway, next. Oh, this band. I literally heard one song of theirs. Uh, pretty sure it was on a Channel 4 advert or something like that. Called Away From Here. They're not a bad band. Um, some of their tunes, a little bit. Yeah, melancholy, a little bit. Yeah, yeah not too bad. But they're a rock band, so it's pretty kicker. The enemy, which is just hilarious. So, do you like the enemy? Well, no. Why would you like the? Yes, I like the band, the enemy, but I don't like the enemy. <laughs> oh, next one. Um, this one also I heard on that relapse record CD. Um, and yeah, I actually found the track I was looking for. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, it's called Enslaved. They're very heavy metal. Um. But some of their songs, you just think, well, where are they going with this? It starts off like really kind of quiet, and it's like kind of like screechy kind of guitar, and you think, oh, where are they going with this? And then it just kicks in, and you just think, what? Where did that come from? But yeah, they're a heavy metal band. It's pretty kick ass, like it. And the last one, and this is the E list. Oh dear, this one I bought the same time that I bought the Big Bass Anthems one. Jeez. The whole thing was, I, I bought three CDs from Tesco's, and I thought, well, you know, that band that I'm looking for, Nero, has got to be on there somewhere, and I had no idea the name of the band. And the whole thing was, none of those CDs that I bought actually had Nero's song on it. The actual song was Me and You by Nero. <sighs> yeah. Euphoric R&B. It's not actually that bad. I mean, it's quite good in the fact that it's got really good, like, mix of, like, different songs. Like um, Justin Timberlake and Timberland, Sexy Back. It's pretty awesome. Um, KTB, Broken Record. It's not too bad. Um, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Allo Black, I Need a Dollar. It's pretty kick ass. Um, pretty sure it's got Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Dirty Bit. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I like that CD. Um, so, yeah, that was D to E. Uh, this is Mega Reviewing and Dead to Rights. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, once again, I will ask you to possibly subscribe or possibly like. No, well, if you don't, I don't mind. But if you do, that'd be fantastic. I mean, you know, get a YouTube account first before you subscribe, or you won't be able to subscribe. And the whole point is, you won't be able to add a comment if you don't actually have a YouTube account. So. To be honest, I don't really mind, but it's it's nice to see people actually viewing the actual videos that I put on, you know, from time to time. Anyway, I will catch you guys there, or, 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 I might actually, oh no, 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 
I might do S as well. I'm not too sure. We'll have to come back to that. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. Bye. Yeah.